Now to the latest from overseas. The Israel-Hamas ceasefire was extended into a seventh day and more hostages were released. As the war continues, so does advocacy here in the U.S. And Western Mass News reporter Olivia Hickey joins us live in studio tonight after speaking with the Jewish Federation of Western Massachusetts. Olivia. Chris, members of the organization and others gathered this afternoon in Longmeadow for a rally. They say it will be their last until the weather warms up again. But as the war lingers into the colder months, they say it's still important to show support for Israel and the Jewish community. Thursday afternoon, members of the Jewish Federation of Western Massachusetts and others gathered in Longmeadow. Several rallies were held in recent weeks as the Israel-Hamas war continues, with the ceasefire extended and more hostages released. Peace. These rallies have been uh, a grassroots effort of community members coming out and being visible. And so our Jewish Federation of Western Massachusetts is uh, proud to be supportive of the efforts of our community members and provide some different materials and, and support for that. We spoke to Nora Gorenstein, CEO of the Jewish Federation of Western Massachusetts. She tells Western Mass News they're figuring out ways to show support for Israel as winter approaches and get the community involved despite the weather, including yard sign campaigns and Shabbat candles. And this weekend for for Shabbat, uh, the Jewish Sabbath, we are helping to distribute these uh, packets of Shabbat candles with uh, cards with blessings and each one has a picture of a different hostage and so uh, encouraging community members to keep these uh, individuals in their thoughts and their minds and their prayers. With the East Hampton City Council recently approving a resolution against anti-Semitism, Gorenstein says they're hoping for more action from officials condemning all forms of hate, with anti-Semitic acts being a continued conversation. She references an incident at UMass Amherst. According to UMass Hillel, a student punched a Jewish student holding an Israeli flag, took the flag and spit on it during a peaceful walk, calling for a safe campus and for the return of the hostage held by Hamas. When, when students or any kind of people start to take that out on one another and acts of physical violence, and that's what we see here in this country, you know, we have to be really concerned. The Jewish Federation of Western Massachusetts is continuing their emergency fundraising campaign to get necessary supplies needed for people impacted by the war. Head to westernmassnews.com for those details. Reporting live in studio, Olivia Hickey for Western Mass News.